Welcome everyone. My name's Peter Abraham. I'm the CEO of Swan Hill District Health. I'd like to firstly acknowledge uh, the First Nations community, the Wamba Wamba, Wadi Wadi, Barappa Barappa, Lachi Lachi and Taddy Taddy people on whose land we work and live and pay our respects to Elders past, present and emerging. I'd, I'd like to welcome everyone here today, community members, thank you for coming out on a nice warm day. Um, and please help yourself to water um, and our refreshments as well. I'd like to welcome our board members of Swan Hill District Health who are here today, other, other dignitaries, and also our builders and architects, who have, uh, our builders particularly who have cleared the site for us and got rid of a fairly big building, a couple of buildings. So the emergency department we're building here is gonna be two thirds the size of our current one. It's going to have dedicated ambulance entrance. It's going to have, have um, uh, really good treatment areas, new treatment areas. It's going to have short stay areas. Um, and as I said, a dedicated ambulance entrance so we don't have to all come in the one door. Um, it's going to be fantastic for us. It's about two and a half years away from being opened at the moment on no planning. It takes that long to build it. As well as the emergency department, we're also going to have a new x-ray department, a new cafe, and other, other community health type areas upstairs as well. It is going to occupy just about all of this site. So a big building, and hopefully the start of many more. I'm not supposed to say that, but I just did. I'm going to pass on to the dancers um, to do the traditional welcome and acknowledgement of this site and cleansing of this site. Thank you. As we gather on this sacred land, let us acknowledge that we are on Wamba Wamba country, from which our ancestors are the oldest living culture and have been custodians, performers of age-old ceremonies of celebrations, birth, initiations, storytellings and renewals. Let us acknowledge our living culture and the unique role that we all play in this our beautiful country. 
I also acknowledge my ancestors that are in the dream time because today we stand in their footprints. The footprints will support and guide us as we walk on this land. I acknowledge my living elders for the courage and the strength and never giving up the struggle. And I acknowledge the elders of the future for they will be holding the memories, traditions and hope for Indigenous Australians who are continuing to nurture the land and customs through rituals, totems, paintings, song and dance. Dance is our connection to land and culture. We carry country in our bodies wherever we go. The mighty Murray River is all these things within our country that are places of great importance, place of birth, place of abundant food, such as fishing, hunting, gathering. Also, more, more importantly, natural culture and medicinal sources. But above all, a place of significant beliefs and ancestral storytellings. Like the river song lines that weaves their way across the land from clan to clan, it unites us by the dream time stories of creation that has been handed down for thousands of years. It's in our blood, it's in our veins, it's in our cultural teaching, our connection to each other, to the elders, to our burrows, to the land, to ourselves, to honour all of those before us that, was with us that are with us now and the future of our youth. Show respect to your fellow countrymen and women and those that are present here today, you are recognised and acknowledged. So treat the earth and all living things with respect. Remain close to your own spirit. Respect the culture and the law of the land. Swan Hill and District Hospital have taken a stand to close the gap and make this hospital a cultural safe place. In saying this, the smoking of this area and the new emergency department, we can only hope that it is more welcoming for my mob. I am the result of my ancestors, all the results of the ancestors, good, bad or indifferent. It's keeping the best and, and changing the worst, making future generations happy, healthy and free without ancestral hurt. So all you mobs, stay safe, stay strong, stay connected and most of all, stay deadly. Thank you. We would like to um, uh, offer people, if they'd like to go through the, the smoke, to come through it now, please.
We'd like to thank you all very much. That's um, now the end of um, the performance. I hope you've enjoyed it. Um, these young fellas are, are that new at this game that they haven't even got a name for themselves yet. So, um, so I'm very proud. Can we all just give them one more big hand of applause, please? We're just going to introduce the boys. I'd like to introduce uh, Shannon Polglaze. Impaja Pettit, the Dig player. Alastair Purton, very, very first dance. He's only had three, uh, three um, practices and I reckon he knocked it out of the park. So proud of this young man. Shawnee Kirby. Therese Kirby. Alastair Johnson. I knew he was going to do something. This is Connor Arif. <laughs> and this is uh, Stephen Colgrave. This the young fella is my great, great nephew. This is Seth Morgan. Thank you to the cultural dancers. Thank you to Deb. Thank you also to, to Michelle. Um, of our Aboriginal Health Unit for organising such a great, wonderful event, really significant event for this health service. Thank you. Thank you. Not much more to say. There are some pictures up here of the, the proposed new development, if anyone wants to have a look. Also, I think also on our Facebook website and all those Twitter things as well. Um, um, that's all from us, so please, um, enjoy some obviously food refreshments here and in the cold water as well. Thank you very much for attending. <laughs>